Everyone loves the first day of school, right? New year, new classes, new friends. It's a day full of potential and hope, before all the dreary depressions of reality show up to ruin all the fun. I like the first day of school for a different reason, though. You see, I have a sort of power. When I look at people, I can sense a, a sort of aura around them, a colored outline based on how long that person has to live. Most everyone I meet around my age is surrounded by a solid green hue, which means they have plenty of time left. A fair amount of them have a yellow orangish tinge to their auras, which tends to mean a car crash or some other tragedy. Anything that takes people before their time, as they say. The real fun is when the auras venture into the red end of the spectrum, though. Every now and again, I'll see someone who's basically a walking stoplight. Those are the ones who get murdered or kill themselves. It's such a rush to see them and know their time is numbered. And with that in mind, I always get to class very early so I can scout out my classmates' fates. The first kid who walked in was basically radiating red. <laughs> I chuckled to myself. Too damn bad, bro. But as people kept walking in, they all had the same intense glow. I finally caught a glimpse of my rose-tinted reflection in the window, but I was too stunned to move. Our professor stepped in and locked the door, his aura a sickening shade of green. That was Seeing Red, or The First Day of School, by Zenry Howe. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in. My name is Matthias Lindsay, and this concludes the first video in a series that I'll be doing where I read short horror stories submitted to the internet. If you have any story you'd like me to narrate, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And with that being said, I love you all, and I hope you have a grand night.